Hey everybody, Chell here with Prismatic Powders. In this video, we're going to talk about back ionization. We're going to teach you how to identify the symptoms, how it happens, and how to prevent it with techniques and settings so hopefully you don't have to buy anything. You don't need to see your doctor and you don't need a prescription. But you know what you do need? You need to click those like and subscribe buttons and hit that bell icon to get notified each time we upload a new video. Now, back ionization is also referred to as starring and it's going to become visible while you're coating and it's going to remain visible after you're curing. And here is what it looks like before curing and here is what it looks like after curing. And as you can see, those stars are right where we left them. So this is not a problem that you can ignore and hope it goes away. We are not politicians ignoring the national debt and spending recklessly. We're common people. Simply put, back ionization occurs when powder is overcharged. The buildup of charged powder becomes so great that as more charged powder seeks its pathway to ground, it gets rejected. It's like coming on really, really strong to a girl that doesn't really like you. Sort of. The point is that if powder buildup is overcharged, you're not going to force more powder on there. So you need to change your game. So let's talk about some specifics of how it can occur and then we will talk about prevention. First things first, you need to make sure you have a good earth ground. This is foundational for solid functioning system and it will make it easier to troubleshoot your issues. So let's talk about back ionization as a result of overcharged powder because your voltage was too high. Most of the time this is happening on your second coat or third coat, but if you see it on a single coat, yes, you do need to drop your voltage, but that alone is not gonna solve your problem because the layer of powder is already overcharged. So it's resisting what you're spraying. So what you need to do is start over, but simple as blowing your part off then put your part back in the oven, and then what's gonna happen is as that part heats, it's gonna discharge. After that, you can start over with lower voltage. Now it's important to note that some guns do only have a kilovolt adjustment, and then they have some that have a kilovolt and microamp setting, and if you are in the latter category, you can keep your KV settings at 100, but then you need to drop your microamps down maybe 40 to 50. It can vary a little bit by powder and substrate material. Go higher or lower as needed. Now, keep in mind that things get a little more tricky if you have a multi-coat project. And the problem is that a base coat can be overcharged but not yet showing back ionization. You're not getting the stars. So when you apply your next coat, that's when you see the stars. And this is why you should adopt the philosophy for voltage as low as possible, as high as necessary because there are not a lot of options once you've flashed that base and are experiencing back ionization on your next coat. If this is happening to you, dropping your voltage and increasing your part distance may help, but the truth is, in some instances, you might only be able to shoot your parts hot. So it's best to really start with that lower voltage setting and then build up from there. Another culprit is spraying too close to the part. This can also cause back ionization because the charged particles are not allowed to disperse within a larger powder cloud. And typically you should be about six to eight inches from your gun tip to the part. So pay attention to distances. Now I realize these are pretty simple solutions. Drop your voltage, increase your distance. It's really about being mindful of your techniques and read the powder. This is gonna help you build film thickness more slowly and reduce the likelihood of overcharged powder. Remember the philosophy for voltage, as low as possible, as high as necessary. Now that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.